Hey guys, RC here, back with Starter's Order 7. This is episode 4. So last episode we actually got a win, and uh, had a lot of comments coming in from you guys, which I do appreciate. So I wanted to go over a couple of things just real quick. Uh, Dean Blake, William Ashman, a lot of comments coming in. Keep it up, guys. Much appreciated. Um, let's see. Dean says the horses that I've got now is two-year-olds. He doesn't think we'll have any uh, grade one horses, but just keep racing them to gain experience. Uh, go through the yearling sales basically like I have been and hope you pull a few uh, gems. Um, William Ashman says three things I look for in a good horse is the potential extra speed rating and consistency. So I'll have to keep that in mind. Dean wants to see more starters orders. So... Here you go, next episode. All right, when we're looking at the studs, let's go there, and we're already in full, but when we're looking at the studs, I evidently made a comment that this was a like first, second, and third place, and I think I did that in an early version. I don't know what episode that is. Looks like episode two, maybe. Keep in mind, I just started playing the game. But this is group one, group two, and group three, and this is wins only. So I think I did know that. I may not have I may not have put that across right, but Stanley Rosella, thank you for the clarification. What else do we have? Um, <coughs> William Ashman said I had a five furlong horse, but I don't know which one he's referring to, and I wasn't going to go watch the whole video to try to figure it out. Sorry, I appreciate the feedback, but... I don't know what horse we're referring to. Um, and that's it there. Now, somebody, I was looking for the comment, and I can't find it, but somebody had made a comment that I was over-racing my two-year-olds. And then I went back, because I had actually posed this question over on the Discord channel. And let's see, our racing stable, two-year-olds. So we, we, ha we haven't raced these two-year-olds, but Van Doesburg actually did race quite a bit as a two-year-old, right? Yes. So we had, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We had 10 races as a two-year-old. And they said, you know, somebody said, and I don't remember who, but they said, you're over-racing the horse. But I went back and I, you know, and, and I'm not saying that's not correct, but I did pose the question. So here's the question I asked over on Discord. How many races do you enter as a two-year-old? I'm using easy training, so I can probably run 20 races if I wanted to, but that doesn't seem realistic or smart. And a uh, couple of the uh, really uh, knowledgeable people, Chris Ormy, who has uh, his own YouTube channel, check it out. And he does a lot of starters orders, and that's what turned me back onto the game. Uh, so a shout out to Chris. Uh, he said, check what your head lad tells you. So if you come in, here's your head lad that he'll tell you when the horse is not ready to run. All right. The other thing you can, and then Sophie, who is the one, you remember this, the, the 23 page manifesto on, uh, on, on what, how to play the game. Uh, I, evidently she's done a lot of science. Uh, she said, look for their red constitution bar. And is that must these are the red bars, right? So bear with me because I can't see. Well, I don't see a constitution bar. I wonder oh, I wonder if it's the condition bar. So here's the condition bar, right? But it has a red and a green one. And she says this should go down over the season. And I guess, the, you know, when it gets below the green, they're not ready to race. I hadn't been paying quite as much attention to that. And I may not even be interpreting that right. But she said when the red constitution bar will go down over the season. And I don't think this con this is this is not this is not a red bar. This is, I think, their overall constitution. So I think it's this condition bar, because I don't see constitution. But she said, if it gets too low, then you're over racing them. So those were the two feedbacks that I got. So that's why I was racing him as much as I did. It didn't look like we were overworking him. But, you know, I'm, I, you know I did pose the question, because 
I was along the same lines. So anyway, just a little bit of information on some, some, you know, some feedback that I've been getting that may or may not be helpful to you guys. Uh, so just catching you up to speed. Van Doesburg is our three-year-old. We have Amthal, Cashmere Brown, and third half are our two-year-olds. Third half did win its last race, so that is good. That was a win at uh, a Six Furlong Maiden. And we have these guys put in uh, coming up for a conditions race and then two maidens for the ones that did not win. And then we have a mile and one furlong class three handicap. So let's take a look at Van Doesburg because that's our three-year-old this year. Yeah, I think, because I haven't played this in about a week, week and a half, because I'd already had those episodes recorded and they were going up. So, you know, I didn't want to get too far ahead, so I couldn't take your, your feedback and implement it into the game if I needed to. Okay, so he said that consistency was one of the things he looked at. So we've got the extra speed is good, consistency is good. And then potential is good, you know, it's solid. It's not a great horse, right? So we finished fifth in a class one grade three. So we're dropping down to a class three handicap. So we know this is not going to be a top flight horse. This is not a horse that's going to run for the derby or anything like that, <clears throat> which is too bad. But, you know, at least we know, at least we know. So we'll be able to come into this handicap and figure out maybe are we a, are we a class three? Are these handicaps the way we're going to go? Um, but we do have, you know, we do have some races, you know. I mean, we do have some races and a, and a group win, a group three win. So, or a grade three win. I keep calling it, I see group up here. And then I see class and grade. So I don't see groups down here. I, What's the difference? Okay, so the one that we won is a class one grade three. So I'm thinking this is actually a great grades, grade one, two, and three. We have a grade three win. I don't know why they call it group, but it doesn't matter. We're bred for a mile two. And our stam is up there, long, good enough to do this mile. So I think we're all right there. So let's get into some racing, guys. We are going to, what's the next date here? All right. I want to look at, I do want to look at breeder sales, and I want to look at yearling sales. I don't think I need to look at the weekly sales just yet. I, I think I'm a, maybe a year or two away of that. But we're still looking for good breeders and uh, and and taking a flyer on all these yearlings. All right, I don't know who's racing today. Did I hit the wrong button? I think I hit skip instead of skip next. All right, so there we go. Yeah, because it didn't do that. All right, so today we have Amthal running in its second race. Two-year-old filly finished eighth last time out. Hopefully we'll see a little bit better performance here. She is the favorite, so that's good. She's carrying the least amount of weight even, but she's in the worst form. Nobody else has a race, but that's all right. Let's go ahead and get out to the track and see how Amthal does. Now, I have an idea... Well, that wasn't the idea that I had. Damn it. That sucks. All right, so January 13th, so we're back, way back. All right. Um, we'll save. I don't know what the hell happened there. All right, skip a day, save again, go to the track. My God. So you guys saw that. All I did was hit, hit, uh, go race. All right. Now we're not two to one. We're 15 to eight, which is a little under two to one. Still carrying 120. 
Let's click down here maybe. Watch this at the race course. And it crashed again. Hmm. Very frustrating. Very frustrating. All right, so there evidently has been an update to 1.031, 1 but it is not updated on Steam yet, so I don't know if that's having an issue with it. It shouldn't, I don't think. Uh, all right, well, I tell you what, since this is a maiden, we are going to, uh, we're just going to skip. And we'll see how he does. A fourth place finish. All right, so let's save. Maybe that'll get us over the little crash hump here. Let's check out what uh, what what the what was said. Ridden as a stalker, appeared to suit well enough. Showed its inexperience. Struggled in this grade. So that's bad that we're in a entry maiden and it's struggling. So have we overestimated this horse? But you know it has pretty solid bars. Speed consistency is maxed. Enthusiasm is high, or you know above average. It's a normal horse, so disposition's not an issue. All right. Well, that's that's disappointing. That's disappointing. All right, well, let's skip to the next race, which will be tomorrow. And we have to fly there. Now, remember, this is, let's go ahead and save again. I hope it doesn't crash again. My God, that's going to piss me off if I can't watch any races. Um, now, he won his maiden, so he is running in a Cuda Sprint, six furlongs, and he is the favorite. So let's go ahead and go and get to that race. And there we are. All right, so a six furlong sprint. Yay, it actually took. All right, where are we at? Looks like we're in the middle of the pack here. One of these two. Do we have two horses running? Because it looks like I have two people in... Uh, I don't think Tamalane is mine. Actually, we have a lot of people in the same, same, uh, same silks. All right, third half is here. This is our horse, the gray on the outside. Good. All right. Uh, let's see. We're going to tab to speed up. All right, coming up to the two furlong pole, we've got Gomrath on the inside rail. We are on the outside, but I don't think we have any curves to maneuver. He's coming up quick on the inside. One furlong to go. Will we have the fortitude to hold on? No, we're fading out badly there. A lot of horses closing the distance down the stretch. And we fade out at the finish. We might have climbed back into third. I don't think so. That was a poor, poor, no, fourth place. Poor run, poor run. Stumbled at the start, recovered, disputed lead halfway, and weakened. All right. Not exactly, you know, I mean, obviously. Ren is a stalker, which possibly suited. No other feedback. All right, that's that's a little disappointing. All right, well, we're going to, uh, right here. Got to re-familiarize myself where all these little buttons are. All right, so that's, that's disappointing. So that was a class two. I mean, he was in the lead. He was there. I mean, he wasn't completely outpaced, but maybe we look at a class three for his next race, maybe. All right, let's go ahead and save again, and then we'll go to the track. We'll see if we can watch this maiden race. I, I have no idea what causes the crashes. 
I'm having a lot more issues with this game than any game that I've ever played, I think. <laughs> but anyway, all right, we're going to head out. We are the favorites in this one. All right, that's good. So this is a six furlong maiden on dirt. All right, we're out here in the middle of the pack. And we got rid of all the people. We probably filed a formal protest about people copying our silks. And, uh, ooh, we're, uh, we're pulling up to the back. We're going the secretariat route, uh, going to the rear. That's a dangerous gamble. Slides over to the rail. Okay. So let's speed it up to about the two furlong pole. All right, he moves all the way from inside to outside, begins a charge, moves up into third at the two furlong pole. He is showing some pace, a little bit of a sprint to get up on the lead horses, tails off a little bit, one furlong pole. They're basically neck and neck. Digging in my stash. Is this all the money you had in your pocket? Um, I had a 20. Oh. That's okay. I'm going to go look again. All right. And I missed the end of the race because I was talking to my wife because that was more important. Sorry. What Just color, is. What color paints? So. The black ones oh. that I wore yesterday. Oh, okay. I'm going to do that. And, yeah, we faded out there. That's, oh, that's disappointing. So fourth place, held up towards the rear, weakened. Another weakened. Okay, so so we've got an issue here with, with stamina and... Uh, able to keep at it ridden as a closer could have settled better so this is back to the did not settle genetic it may need a pacifier your stable lad will comment that they may benefit it is unknown what the difference between the three pacifiers are you just have to try each and see if they make a difference all right so try a furlong shorter next time. All right, let's go ahead and skip today's racing. And we've got a three-year-old with a couple of wins. Won a maiden and then went into a selling race. Nothing fancy there. We're going to skip that. We'll save it out. All right, so Cashmere Brown. Back-to-back fourth-place finishes. And that was a six furlong. He said, try a five next time. Okay. So we'll do that. Van Doesburg will go next. Really started strong and then faded. Fifth place finish in the class three. And then we're doing another class three. But this is a handicap. So this may give us a better indicator on where this horse sits. Let's go ahead and get out to the track. All right, we are not considered to be a favorite for this. I think I read this is based on form. So second best form. Although we're fading out, we are carrying significant weight compared to the majority of the field. And we're even with Dame Fon Lin for, uh, for rating and Dame Font Fontaine. Dame, F Dame Fontaine, I couldn't read it over here, uh, appears to be the favorite. Let's go out and see what happens. So, ooh, rainy day. Hmm. So yeah, I'm a little confused as to why the uh, the crash there on that first race. I do not understand. All right, the field breaks pretty cleanly. We move out with the lead pack. We're on the lead group of three on the rail. Eight furlongs to go. So let's pick it up. Wonder how many times around the track we have to go. Just once, hopefully. It'd be like running track at the high school, you know, when you have to go around it like four whole times. All right, we're into four furlongs. We have dropped off the pace a little bit. We're still with the lead horses. All right, at the two furlong pole, there's two distinct groups. We are on the rail as a stalker. 
holding our own, but the out the rear horses are catching up. We are fading. We just, I don't know if we ran up a hill there. One furlong and everybody has passed us. We are eating dirt. We are eating dirt. We have to go all the way to the outside to find a lane. And we're going to bring up the rear. So that was not a good run at all. It'll be interesting to see what the uh, what the form book says in the jockey. Disputed lead early, led before halfway, and we weakened again. <sighs> no chance. So that just tells me we're outclassed at that level. I've got a breeder sale in two days, so I'm going to go ahead and go to that. So we'll see you guys back here in a minute. All right, let's take a look. We did buy two breeding mares. I haven't looked at them yet, but I've also booked some other races. So Indian Jewel, five-year-old. That's pretty good. 70 extra speed, very good consistency. Enthusiasm's a little on the low side. All right, I think, you know, and she is a uh, group two winner. Not great, but, you know, I mean, still. I think that'll be good. And then uh, Naji. Naji is a uh, eh, little bit of more of a sprinter. Not as good there. It does have good extra speed, 75%. Consistency is there. Enthusiasm. You know, I forgot to look. That horse is laid back. Indian Jewel is normal, so that's good. All right, let's go ahead and breed these out. Uh, Indian Jewel and I'm not going to pay a, is that, uh, it's two million. That's six million. Wow. It's a little, uh, little on the pricey side. We do have six group one wins, so I think we'll breed with Sovereign Debt. We'll do that one. And we have four and two, four and one. How about four group ones and a group two out of all five races? That's a, that's a, do I want to spend a million dollars? I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, let's go ahead and do it with that one. All right. So we've done that. Uh, third half, I was unable to find a race. Everything was a selling race uh, at the distance we needed. Uh, Cashmere Brown's going to run on February 25th, so in a couple of days. And then we've got two up in March. Uh, taking a look at the sales, the yearlings do go off on March 1st. So we'll be able to run this race today. And we'll save it and we'll hit the track. All right, 11 to 2 odds. Uh, if we take a look at the tipsters, we are not picked at all. The paddock parading a little lazily. Okay, we're going to lose this race, and I don't, I don't feel comfortable about it at all. Please don't crash. Uh, there was evidently a new patch. I, I may have mentioned this already. I forgot. But uh, Chris Ormy mentioned there was a new patch that went up today. It has not released on Steam yet because I did go back and check uh, after one of the crashes earlier in the episode that you guys uh, were fortuitous enough to see. Looks like we are on the rail. We break cleanly and get out to an early lead paced by Man Jam. And then we settle in to the trailing pack. Eh, okay, four furlongs, and we are with the rear of the group. We are on the rail. We're going to get pinched right there. Two furlong pole. We're in the top four, looking for a place to run. If he can get up, we might be able to pounce there, and he does. Good move. Cashmere Brown out to the lead inside a furlong to go. Can he hold on? He's opened it up to one length, one and a half, and he's pulling away at the wire. There we go. That's a good run by Cashmere Brown. I liked that run. Showed a little bit of pace. Stride. 
Let's check the form book, and we won $7,308. Restrained early, mid-division lead, led over a furlong out, comfortable. Very nice. Very nice. Written as a closer, could have settled better. Trip was spot on, appeared to enjoy this race course. So maybe that's, we need to look at racing him more at that course. I don't know. All right, so we're going to get rid of, we're going to skip the rest of these races. We're going to skip that auction. There we go. We're going to save because now we actually have a maiden winner in Cashmere Brown. Thank goodness. An 84 rating. She settles in as the second best rated horse that we have now. All right. What does our head lad, but she is jaded. I was just trying to see if we've seen anything. And I'm looking at this condition bar. So we don't want to over race. All right. Uh, March 1st is going to be the yearlings, right? Didn't I say that? Yes, I did. All right, so I'm going to go buy some horses, and I'll see you guys. And we'll probably won't do one more race this episode with Amthal on March 10th. So see you guys in a second. All right, we have bought quite a few horses. Let's take a look. Okay, and they are in full. I forgot to check that. So we just bought, a, uh, I think, these last six. The one that really jumped out that we paid a good number for is Piranha. So I wanted to check her out with you. Uh, we paid, what's that, 529,620? I don't know. I can't tell. Uh, let's see. So... Yeah, it's hard to tell. Constitution. Got good extra speed, 75, almost almost 80 maybe. Not not quite. Uh enthusiasm's a little on the low side. Very good consistency. Alright. Uh, we'll we'll see. We'll see. Any of these other ones just jump off the page. I'll just let you guys spot check them. That one looks like um, possibly a waste. Dreams of glory. Huh? Got a very good cruising burst. You don't usually see that. It does have some extra speed, but it looks like it might be a very lazy horse. Uh, I don't see... I don't see the numbers up in the stats there. Hmm. Hello. Hello. 70% potential. Already at 45-ish. So we might be able to get that up to maybe 75 with a good two-year. All these other bars. It's got 50 cruising bursts, 70 extra. Finish application, consistency. That horse looks like it might have some very good potential. And <clears throat> Maclet, mm, maybe a little low on potential. So I think that's, there might be one, one or two in there. I think, uh, was it Dominant? I think Dominant's going to be the horse in that group. Piranha, possibly. Possibly. You don't have to have the high constitution. This is just more racing. So, he just wouldn't be able to race as much. All right, well, we are, let's go ahead and save because we are looking for, what's that number here? Oh, summary, 30? I don't know. What's that number mean? It says summary, but what's the summary? What does 30 represent? If you know, let me know in the comments. Please, I asked nicely. All right, <clears throat> uh, we are tomorrow, save Amthal. Let's get out to the track. All right, we are, I don't know, I'm, I'm evaluating that this is like rated in order of form, I think. I know it's weight, but then form from the weight, so... We are the highest uh, rating. That doesn't mean a whole lot. 
And this is a this is another maiden race trying to find the maiden victory. We're second from the rail, it appears. Breaks cleanly. Out with the leaders. Now this one, remember, we did drop it down to five furlongs. Opens up a big lead. I think we're going out too fast. As they said in the movie, Secretary, no horse can take this for that distance. Ronnie Turcott's going to burst his heart. Oh, was that a cloud going overhead? The one furlong pole, we've got a good lead, but they are charging. We are not showing anything to pull away or maintain at the wire, and we drift into third. We just didn't have it to stick around. Ugh, damn. We do finish third. That gets us uh, almost $1,200. We weakened once again. I think with that horse, I think we're going to shelve it for a little while. Maybe, maybe bring it back after a few months. If I could put it in the grass and then bring it back in the, uh, you know, out to, out to grass and then bring it back, I don't know. Ridden as a front runner, got the distance well. <clears throat> But didn't have anything going. Nothing at all. Uh, let's see. I don't know. Don't know. And you guys know, I mean, I, I, I've i made no bones. I'm new to this game. I don't know a lot about it. So uh, let me know what you guys think about the races today. You know, let me know what you think we should do with these horses moving forward. Um, I am going to record another episode right behind this one. So, you know, I do try to stay, a, you know, two or three episodes ahead of when they go up, just so I've got enough in the bank. Uh, on top of that, we just had, uh, I'm recording this Saturday morning. We had a conference call with my job yesterday and uh, starting Monday, uh, we are back uh, regular hours, uh, regular work schedules. Um, as far as they're concerned, this is all over and, uh, they want us back out working. So, um, yeah, well, anyway, we just had in Texas, we just had the highest case count and death count, uh, since this started back in February. So, um, not sure how it's going in a good direction for them to judge that, but they're the bosses and your options are to keep your mouth shut and go work or you quit and I can't afford to do that. So anyway, let me know what you guys think about these horses. Cause I need to get my mind off of the work thing, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do about Amthal. Can't get that maiden. Just can't get it. I think five furlongs is her distance right now, but I think we may shelf her for a little while. Maybe. Maybe. She doesn't have a great constitution, so we probably need to rest her more anyway. I wonder if that's what... I'm going to have to ask. I'm going to ask Sophie on the Discord, but when we're looking at this, do I need to wait for the green bar to catch up to the red bar, even if the head lad says she's ready? Um, I'm going to pay a little more attention to that and see if that makes some sense. And maybe I, maybe that'll change our fortunes guys hit the like button, subscribe. And I look forward to the comments on this episode. We will see you on the track next time. Bye.